Hello friends, today I am going to analyze how SQL activity monitor works, how can you check your issues, how can you check long queries, what are the resources which are in mating mode. So to see the windows of uh, SQL activity monitor, first we need to go to SQL Management Studio Just go to search SQL Server Management Studio then connect to database engine Here one symbol is activity monitors The shortcut of this is Control Alter A or you can directly click this icon in the first window it's showing the processes here you can see our databases you can see your session IDs and login user login and which command is currently running here you can check running stage blank non blank and one more is suspended suspended is which is in a waiting for to the process to come in the process of running it is wait time how much time consumed for process and, and it's a block by is uh, if your any process is blocked by then session ID will show in blocked by this is the host information and secondary resource which are in waiting mode like buffer input output logging lock third is data file input output and fourth one is recent expensive queries you can see what are running queries by just click on details of your process which query is our currently running mode if any process is blocked then you want to kill then you can use the kill option to kill the process you want to trace then you can trace process in SQL profiler then here expensive queries you can uh, sort it by average time duration on executing the query here you can select a specific database want to check here even you can check your query planner you can directly edit this query check what query is running and why it's taking time if you're not able to know then you can use so execution plan here you can see which index is taking how much percentage of time like here it's three percent four percent seven percent cluster index and one more you can check any missing index details you can get your missing index details is telling that you can need to create this index in your table then you can create this index or directly execute you can execute to create this index or you can manually create from your application 
here it's showing to include react id and on and inventors original reference category reference id data area id and partisan should be in main index space index columns it's your missing index same way you can get from other your long query ring queries here you can see the which on which application it is running your queries microsoft dynamics and report server or sql agent generic reference like that a lot of things you can get it from activity monitor i hope by giving this sort of information as a clip you will be able to utilize for your databases to get advantage and improve the performance of your application thank you very much for watching this clip if you really like it and please don't forget to subscribe it to improve my confidence and to increase your knowledge if you will improve then i will improve thank you very much for watching this clip again